morning, everyone. Jazz Bragans are here. Another what's next? Happy Wednesday. With so many things going on right now, and um, especially over the last uh, 48 to 72 hours with more nonsense from the dementia administration and also from pop culture and Hollywood. Um, once again, I come across a voice of reason. And once again, it happens to be one Denzel Washington. Let's take a look. This comes out of Bounding Into Comics. Denzel Washington explains why he believes, quote, diversity shouldn't even be mentioned like it's something special when promoting Hollywood projects. Legendary actor Denzel Washington recently explained why he believes diversity shouldn't even be mentioned when it comes to promoting Hollywood projects. Washington, who stars in director Joel Cohen's recent adaptation of Shakespeare's The Tragedy of Macbeth, told NBC at a roundtable that and other with other media outlets, obviously we are diverse, so I think that's a great thing. The actor didn't add it. You know, in my humble opinion, we ought to be at a place where diversity shouldn't even be mentioned like it's something special. He explained these young kids, black, white, blue, green, whatever, are highly talented and qualified. So that's why they're there. Listening, Hollywood. Or should I say listening, woke mob. While Washington believes diversity shouldn't even be mentioned like it's something special, he does believe in putting God first in everything he does. Speaking with Religion News Service about his film, A Journal for Jordan, the Man on Fire actor stated, I have more than one special le spiritual leader in my life. So there's the different people I talk to, and I try to make sure I try to put God first in everything. Wow. He added, I was reading something this morning in my meditation about selfishness and how the only way to true independence is complete dependence on the Almighty. Washington isn't just preaching it, he's putting his words into action as well. He revealed that while filming a journal for Jordan, he sometimes led the cast and crew in prayer. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's a no-no in Hollywood. Mm -mm. He explained sometimes the Spirit of God is throughout the film. Charles is an angel, and I'm, uh, and I'm a believer. Dana's a believer. So that was a part of every decision, hopefully, I tried to make. I wanted to please God, I wanted to please Charles, and I wanted to please Dana. The Book of Eli actor also appeared at the Better Man event where he told audiences, at 66, getting ready to be 67. I've just buried my mother. I made a promise to her and to God. And not just a good, uh, the right way. I'm sorry, not just to do good the right way, but to honor my mother and father by the way I live my life. The rest of my days on this earth. Quote, I'm here to serve, to help, to provide. In every prayer, you know. The ego is interesting. You just don't know. But in every prayer, all I hear is feed my sheep. That's what God wants me to do. He asserted. He would elaborate. I'm like, wait a minute. What does this mean? Well, I found out the last couple of years in hearing that, that there are all kinds of sheep. So that's why I talk to the experienced shepherds to help guide me. Washington will also warn the selfishness of fame. Quote, in the Bible it says the last days we will become lovers of ourselves. The number of one, the number one photograph now is a selfie. So we all want to lead. We're willing to do anything, ladies and young men, to be, quote, influential. Fame is a monster. And we all have these ladders and battles, roads we have to walk in our given lives. But be famous or whoever's out there listening. We all have our individual challenges. It, it's a cliche. Money doesn't make it better. It doesn't. Fame just magnifies the problems and opportunities, he later, later added. The actor offers similar comments in an interview with the New York Times, Maureen Dowd. What I do, what I make, what I made, all of that is going to help me on the last day of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. He meant it as a question. Excuse me. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have uh, who have we made better? This is spiritual warfare. So I'm not looking at it from an earthly perspective. If you don't have a spiritual anchor, you'll be easily blown by the wind and you'll be led to depression. Touching on the subject of selfishness and desire to fame, Washington said, excuse me, Washington said, the enemy is inner me, is in the inner me. The Bible says in the last days, I don't know if it's the last days. It's not my place to know. But it says we will be lovers of ourselves. The number one photograph, of course, as he said, selfie. Uh, we're living in a time where people are willing to do anything to get followed. What is long or short term effect 
or of too much information. It's going fast and can be manipulated, obviously, in a myriad of ways. And people are led like sheep to the slaughter. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, we have a voice of reason out of the darkness that is Hollywood, and that is one Denzel Washington. He's not the only one. Uh, you have those like uh, Gary Sinise. Uh, you have those like Jim Caviezel. Um, but Denzel is the most high profile only because he continues to do projects. He is legend. He is icon. But Denzel will tell you he's blessed to be working in an industry where it's always dark. And hopefully that the way he speaks, the way he comes off, the way he acts, um, whether it's on camera or off camera, uh, will be a beacon to young actors, male, female, to say there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And uh, hopefully, um, in his opinion, that he is doing it the right way. Of course, when you leave it in God's hands, it's always the right way. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.